to another video. If you are new, please subscribe, like, share, and comment. If you are not new, thank you so much for returning. So this company, Better Link, you can see the bag, she sent me some eye tips. It's 100% virgin hair and it's 10 inches. I didn't want a lot of hair. So we're gonna go with these. The knots on them, I think it's kind of big, but they sent links. So I wanna say these links are pretty big to fit the one. Or at least I hope. But I got two bundles. Each bundle is 100, so I have 200. Shampoo that they sent with washing shampoo and instructions. So first I'm going to shampoo the hair with a sulfate free shampoo, moisturizing shampoo to remove any loose hair, any coloring from processing or whatever they may have had to do to process the hair, but you kind of always want to shampoo the hair because sometimes you get hair and it make you itch and you can't figure out why. It could be a particular chemical that they may have used to make it. So their idea is great. Shampoo the hair before installing. So I'm wetting it with warm water. And here's the moisturizing shampoo by Influence. And we're gonna shampoo it. So I'm stopping my sink up because I do not want all this hair that's going to shed from this bundle or bundles to go down my drain and stop it up. I'm not sure exactly how much shedding I will get, but I definitely don't want to stop up the sink. So I would advise fill the sink up with water and shampoo it that way so that you can control the hair. You can see the water has a little color to it, but it's really not bad, not compared to hair that I have had in the past. The water was black and the shedding was really, really bad. So this is not bad at all. Now it's conditioning time. It's all shampooed and now it is time to apply some conditioner to it. I will let this sit for a good five minutes and we will rinse it out with cool water.
as you can see, the shedding wasn't bad at all. Just to show you guys what it looked like before and after shampooing the hair. But I'm definitely getting ready to do the same thing to this bundle that I did to the first one. So for your new friends, I put a Wave Nouveau in my hair a couple months ago. And I've been enjoying the curl. So these eye tips are going to be perfect for the fit of the Wave Nouveau. These are the tools that you will need, pliers and a bead threader. In each bundle of a hundred, it is separated into 10 small bundles like this. Once the micro link is applied or you have ran your hair through the little circle, you take the eye tip and push it in between the circle and your hair and then you clamp it down. to always leave space and pull it up if it hurts slide it down a little bit open it back up and slide it down because these links can't hurt if it's too close to your scalp or it's too tight so always remember and keep in mind that as you doing them or installing them make sure that there's a little space in between the link and your scalp
can see this is too close so I'm having to pull it down yes the first one is a little close as well but when I pulled it up it didn't hurt and didn't feel bad so I may leave that one but I wanted to just show you guys how I slide this one down to get it away from my scalp <music> Okay, so this is 100 links. The first bundle is in. I'm not sure I'm gonna use 200 because I don't have much space at the top for a whole nother set. So I'm thinking maybe I'll use 50 of the next bundle, not the whole 100, but this is the first bundle. This is 10. So we're gonna get it in and see how many we use. And this is the new pack of links. The first pack had a little bit over a hundred links and I noticed that these links are a little bigger than the ones that I have ordered on Amazon I know they have different lengths like the circle in between how big or small it can be I need to find out exactly what the measurements are of these links because I like them I like how they're big you can put enough of your hair inside of the link without feeling like you're gonna have any tension on your hair because you don't want to put your hair inside of these links and it be like thin strands of hair because the weight of the eye tip and the way you style it or pull it or you know just anything can happen you don't want to end up breaking your hair off so you kind of want to put as much hair in the link as possible to keep that tension from being you know not directly onto your hair but these links are pretty big and I like the links. Now I chose to just do one part, but you can do a middle part, part on each side. It's all up to you, your preference, how you choose the way your hair. But for this style, this time, I just chose to just do one part. So I'm going to go ahead and take my hair out of the piece of braids that I had in. Just so that I can see what kind of coverage I'm working with. Whether I need to add more links or take some links out in the part area. So that I have enough coverage. <laughs>
now that I have them all installed, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the links when you're ready to take them out. So you grab your pliers, grab a link, and try to put the link as far back into the pliers as you can because I've noticed when it's to the tip or the front of the pliers, it's kind of hard to mash it down and you do have to apply more pressure, but if it's kind of middle ways, the pliers or far back, you just mash a little bit and it opens it up and you can just slide it out. Okay, so because I have a Wave Nouveau, I'm using the Wave Nouveau Mist Spray so that my hair can be moisturized and have, hold some moisture to it as well as the eye tips. 